What do you want? Justice for KJ! When you want it? Now! After months of rallies, marches, and sit-ins, and the announcement of a federal investigation into the death of Kendrick Johnson, I will follow the facts wherever, wherever they lead. CNN has learned FBI agents are now conducting interviews in South Georgia. Kendrick's parents, Kenneth and Jacqueline Johnson, recently sat with investigators for nearly three hours. The Johnsons want to know what happened to their son. It's a question Jacqueline Johnson first asked one year ago. Hi, where's your emergency? Yes, I'm calling. My son had um, gone to come home from school today, and he still haven't got here. Okay, what's your son's name? Kendrick Johnson. That was January 10th, 2013. That afternoon, the 17-year-old ran into the old gym at Lowndes High School. The following day, Kendrick Johnson was found dead, upside down in a rolled gym mat. The Johnsons never believed he died accidentally after getting stuck while reaching for this shoe, as Lowndes County investigators determined. They know something happened in that gym, and they don't want it to come out. The Johnsons exhumed Kendrick's body and hired an independent pathologist who determined Kendrick died from blunt force trauma to the neck, not an accident. Lowndes County Lieutenant Stride Jones spoke with CNN in May, the day after the sheriff's office closed its case. It, it was not a rash decision that was uh, leapt to by any means. I mean, we, we've drawn this out, um, done a thorough investigation, and, and we think we've covered all bases. As the FBI conducts its interviews, CNN is taking an in-depth look at the accounts of the first interviews in the Kendrick Johnson case, conducted by the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. And we've interviewed uh, slightly over 100 and something people during this investigation. That, that included students, teachers, uh, some parents that uh, you know had access during the uh, time period of question there. We examined every incident report included in the 522-page investigative file. According to the file, Lowndes County investigators interviewed 111 people, including seven school employees, three medical responders, and more than 90 students. It started on January 11th when the Kendrick Johnson was found at Lowndes High School. The file reveals sheriff's investigators interviewed 18 people the day Kendrick Johnson was found. We took that information to HLN analyst, a former police officer, and member of the FBI response team, Mike Brooks. I want to interview someone the, that day, that night, or maybe the following day while things are still fresh in your mind. However, the documents reveal most interviews occurred months later. Here's the breakdown. Investigators interviewed 33 people in the month of January, just four in February, one in March, and 72 of the 111 interviews were conducted in April, one more in May. But months later, you know, you start to leave out possibly some crucial pieces of information. You know, because it's in your mind, sometimes you can recall things that you might not have recalled that particular day, but to a couple days, maybe even a week after it happened, I say week on the, outs on the outside, but not months, Victor, not months. Remember, Kendrick's body was found January 11th. The first emergency medical technicians called to the scene initially for a reported cardiac arrest were interviewed April 17th. The paramedic, who noticed bruising to Kendrick's jaw and considered the gym to be a crime scene, was interviewed April 18th. The janitors, who cleaned the gym where the body was found yard from these blood streaks on a wall, were among the last to be interviewed on April 26th. Local investigators believe the blood is unrelated. However, they've never found whose blood it was or how it got there. And according to their report, the investigators did not ask the janitors about that blood. And look again at the school surveillance video. This was the last time Kendrick Johnson was seen alive. There were other students in the gym, but the investigators' reports have no record of interviews with any of these students. I looked at the crime scene investigation, evidence collection, the autopsy, the uh, interviews that were done that were not done in a timely fashion. This is a sloppy case from the get-go. After the U.S. attorney announced the federal investigation, the attorney for the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office wrote to CNN in part, while Sheriff Prine has every confidence that his officer's investigation was handled with the necessary diligence to assure that all leads were examined and exhausted, he welcomes the U.S. attorney's further review of the case. What do you want? Justice! The Johnsons and their supporters now hope the FBI will get an answer to their question. What happened 
to Kendrick Johnson. That's my child and we're going to fight till it's all over, until we get the truth. That's all we've ever asked for was the truth about what happened to Kendrick Johnson.